Welcome back to Gaming Lagoons and Rambling On. So we got a special episode for you guys today. So I don't know if you saw it um, on Thursday. There was the PS5 launch event. Well, streaming live stream event. Um, I, I think they originally got actually. Lee, it was on Wednesday. I oh, know Saturday today. Oh no, it is Thursday. Sorry, I do apologise. Thursday. <laughs> I, I thought I thought it was still Friday take, today. Take your notes, Anders. Oh take my your notes. God. I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, anyway, guys, mistakes were made. <laughs> mistakes were made. Anyway, we've got um, the whole squad here. I will have to say um, we are not sponsored, um, so we will be comparing the PS5 to the Xbox. Um, obviously, we might be a little biased to PS5, but that's um, our opinions are our own, um, and we're not sponsored in any way by either company. Or any of the games we may discuss. So, first of all, let's talk about um, what I'm going to call Spaceship A and Spaceship B. So, obviously, you've got the PS5. So, um, what I'll do for the the audience is put like pictures of the PS5 or videos of the PS5 or cutouts from the uh, launch show. Um, so, what do you guys think of the design? Obviously, like you've got the disc version and the digital version. Um, well. To start it off, I thought the design was kind of really nice to look at. It was it's quite smoothing and everything, and um, just the outside of it, the white version of it, not the black version, because they've now made a black version that they've put up as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But the, the, yeah. The, the white version of it, like with that w white on the inside, and the black, or was it black on the inside? I think white it's black on the, on the inside, black, black on, on the, the outside. Inside. Um, yeah, yeah. So I like that. Con I I like that contrast color, but I would prefer it. It is my own opinion. I would prefer it if it was the other way around, where it was white on the inside and black on the outside. Yeah, no, I can see that. I think they'll do vinyl stickers for it. I reckon because I quite like the the white modern bit. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel, I feel like it will work as like yeah, a stand same. somewhere. I quite like it. Yeah, and then obviously there's the discussion of the other version, which is the black version of it, which um, it's kind of the same with the normal one. So when you press the button, it starts off uh, when you start uh, when you open the system, it has a light blue indicator saying that it's um uh, it's switched on, which is the same with um, the PS4 hmm. right now. Like when you press it, when you open it, like it's like blue indicator, uh -huh. but because of Spider-Man Miles Morales. They've made the black one, but with the opening icon being red instead. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if I like I the colours though. I don't know if I, I like I red and black. I, I like. I, I'm not 100 percent sure with the colours, like Lee yeah, was saying. But fan. I thought, I thought the concept of doing black and then red, showing that it's Spider-Man. I thought it was quite a good idea. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. it's it's called PS PS5 Miles Morales, so I think that's appealing the same, right? Did Graham want to say something? Recent, this is like no, I, I just uh, overall, I, I, I guess I do like the design, but I think, like Santos said, I, I would prefer a, a, like a grey and black for design. But if they ever announced the black one, then it's not a bad thing. Yeah, I mean, the current design just reminds me of the, of the portal robots. Portal. Oh, portal robots, yeah, <laughs> it does actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, was it what, what we that's just my take? Is it wheat that's not a criticism. We uh, yeah, he was one. actually. He was one, he's um. What's his other name? There's oh, a tall, a, a tall and skinny. There's a tall one. I can't yeah, remember the names, but the round one's Wheatley. And I can't and that's not a, crit a criticism. It just fondly remembers. Well, it's well. nice. The, the funny thing is, though, like people are taking the like the Mickey of it on um like all the memes on the internet at the moment. They're like sandwiching things behind it. You've got like anime characters. Uh, someone said it was Frieza. Um, <laughs> Frieza. <Yeah. laughs> Someone put a binder around. Yeah, yeah, Tara Sauron. Someone put um, a binder, good. a binder around a PS4, and said, "Look, I got a PS5." <laughs> yeah. Someone made out as a taco. <laughs> I can go. I can go. Oh, the Dubai Tower as well. I saw that as well. <laughs> Skinny the bottom, yeah. Yeah. But I'll, I'll be more interested. There, there are two versions. Obviously, there, there's the, the the disc drive and the digital only version. But I'd be interested to see if the digital only version is cheaper, only because there's no there's no components, I guess, to run a disc. Yeah, there'll be no disc drive, but a disc drive isn't really expensive though. But still, I I don't think it's going to be slightly cheaper. I think it's going to be exactly the same. 
Do you? I think, Which no, I I think, think I a discount. I think they'll have to give I like a it, no. fifty pound off or something. It won't be much. But... Fifty pound? No. No, I don't reckon. I don't I, think I reckon... they even have any. I don't. I think it's just going to be the same price, to be honest. Yeah, it will be the same price, just like optional for people. I just like people like yeah. Santos. Fair enough. Like, yeah. you don't, it's interesting. You don't need it, so in that case, there's no point having it. I just don't know why you yeah. would buy a disc drive. That's. But maybe that's me. Yeah, ask Santos. <laughs> ask Santos. Ask oh, yeah. me then. Like, judging from uh, yeah. how you have 2, 4, <laughs> 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 games that is on disc. But all those games are from Hong Kong slash Japan. So I can't even sell them here. I have to go back to Hong Kong or I put them on eBay. That's <laughs> yeah, the only that's reason true. I still have discs there. Otherwise, if I didn't have... I, I would have sold all my discs by now. Like I prefer just having it on the conf- uh, on the on the system, and then like when I when I just need to download it, I just download it. It's just and also um, reason why I like doing it is that because I'm always up late anyway. So by the time that the pre- when you pre-order it, they do like a day a day in advance downloading and everything. So by the time it hits twelve o'clock, boom, I'm already on it playing it. Like I playing. like I said to you, like I said to you guys when I was playing Resident Evil, like. I was I, I finished the game, it within that uh, when it was released, and then within the six space, hours, three or four hours. Well, yeah, but, but I, I was done. <laughs> so yeah, so that just literally just shows like why I prefer um, that compared to this. Yeah, I, obviously, I, I like this. obviously digital. Digital has its good things, but then this also when you've had enough, like because the thing is about between you and Grant you guys buy games and you guys just switch over to say oh, I want to play Rayman and then yeah, like I want to play Tomb Raider or something like that and you guys just switch it around so that's what you guys do but then I just prefer just having digital yeah. we preferences like, isn't it yeah yeah but we like like me and Grant like discs I, I just I, I think uh, Grant can speak for himself on this one but um, I like I like to hold a disc I like the idea of you get something or, like when you pre-order us you get a disc and it comes through your door and you're like oh New game, a real and thing, right? It's yeah, like, like a real thing. You know how we have digital book, right? You know, it's like feeling of the book and just yeah. digital. Yeah, I'd agree with that. It's exactly like that, I think, and I think it's just personal. It just, it, you know, it's like, yeah, that's no good or bad. It just depends. on personal that. Was that Grant? Yeah, I'd agree with that. And it's like having a Christmas or birthday present, like. Here's your game. You have some physical to open on the day. Otherwise, here's your game. It's in the cloud. You can download it later. It just sounds a bit. Well, no, no, no. It's more like. It's more like... <laughs> no, no. It's more like. I'm fine by that. If someone told me, like, you got a game on cloud, God, download it straight away. It's more like he's a piece of paper with a coat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh. Yeah, that's true. That works. That's wrong. That's but like then, getting, that's like but... getting a card wrong or a present. If you open it and you got a game, or you open it and you've got a card. <laughs> uh-huh. But or unless you get the birthday is, card like... on email. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it happens. Yeah, it's kind of it's the same thing. But, but, I mean, I it's the same. Physical. That's all. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because, like. I know that I'll be playing the game, so obviously I tell, like, if it's near my birthday, obviously I tell mum or dad, and then they'll be like, okay, then yeah, I'll buy that for you. And then I, they just transfer me the money, then I'll just download it, and then when it hits midnight, you on my birthday, <laughs> I can play it. I don't want to wait Sounds until 8 so or fun. 9 in the morning just to open the game. <laughs> what, 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 what we've learned, my takeaway from this is... Uh, Digital is for impatient people. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've always been impatient and always will be. <laughs> what? Before we go on to like, I want to talk about the specs of the PS5. But before we do that, I think we need to talk about the controller and the design of the controller. I don't like it personally. I like it. I like it. I mean, like, it's not like I don't know. It's like um, it just looks nice, I guess. Yeah, it's very, it's very like I sleek. I say aesthetic, yeah. And clean and yeah, and I, 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 the thing is, it actually reminds me more of a like an Xbox controller, the curvature and yeah, I do. I don't know, but I think it's more for ergonomics because if you if you look at the actual controller, so I'm looking at a picture right now, and I'll again, yeah, the the people in the I mean, audience about to see it, but I think it's more like the, it's more angled at the bottom than a, than a it's more like curved and angled at the bottom, so I think that'd be easier to hold. It's more in the shape of your hands. So I think it, I think without 
holding that, I can't be sure, but I think that's going to like really make a difference economically. I don't know. I just don't like the look of it. Yeah. What would you change? What would you, the colours or the? Wait, 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 no. What don't you like about it? What don't I you just, like about it? I just don't know. Like I thought it would be a little bit more different. So you're expecting a little bit. Uh, uh, I expected a little bit more different compared to the PS4 controller. Yeah. Like, I just feel like they've just put a massive case <laughs> over the PS4. That's literally what it is. They may as well do that, like the meme of like someone putting a case over a PS4. <laughs> That's literally what it just looks like. It's still the same buttons. Buttons are still the same areas and everything like that. Uh, it's the same with, obviously, um, the PS2 controller and the PS3 controller, except for... I don't know. It just doesn't feel. Yeah. How do you put it? I just don't see it being. But there's an old engineering yeah. adage, um, or idiom, or whatever it's called. Um, it's basically, don't change, or or don't fix what's broken. That's what's not broken. Mm-hmm. Don't fix what's not broken. Yeah. I should get that right. <laughs> yeah, don't fix what's um, broken. <laughs> yeah, don't fix fix what's not broken. So don't I think. Fix, don't fix broken. I don't, I I think the controller isn't more design but like the actual specs inside it because now you get and let me just check quickly um you get 3d audio in the controllers and adaptive buttons so basically as you press the button it will adjust according to your um your presses and your your finger presses so it'll give you more resistance depending on how hard you normally press it like adapts to your, okay. the way you press buttons and it also allows you to do like um, it, it, the PS4 has got like a like a form of it where you can press like the R2 and L2 buttons, um, and you can press them like halfway, and it gives you a different different response than putting them all the way. It's kind of like the same principle for this, but it's so much more advanced now. Okay. It's really good that's for like shooting, cool. but it's like shooting games. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you, of course you've got three D audio, so like that will make a huge difference in terms of like listen to games and surround sound with headphones so that that's what I'm excited about if you can't tell <laughs> I'm just excited please. that please um, <laughs> sorry go on silence so they no, 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 you go ahead first you go ahead first. <laughs> so basically Lee's more focused on like more exciting than the controller than any other games no, no, no! I'll talk about the games later because the games are exciting. But I'm just, I just like the tech and the games because they're awesome. Yeah, I mean, we all watched. I think Wong, you joined halfway through. I joined. Uh, halfway you joined halfway through. through. But me, Lee, me and Lee started from the beginning. Then Grant joined in, um, probably. But he was like about. I think you were like ten or fifteen seconds behind us. Ten minutes. Grant wasn't too late. Yeah. Just ten I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 but uh, but when it was on the feed, you were always ten or fifteen seconds later than me and Lee. Oh yeah. It's, like, it's funny. It's like I hear you talking. Oh, that's amazing. I was like, what's amazing? I was like, what's amazing? My screen's black. My screen's black. I already wow. heard that. I already heard that ten seconds ago. So what, what was more than speed of second? More than speed of second. No, but um, I I feel like. When I was looking at, when I was discussing it with uh, Lee right at the beginning, like some of the people were like guessing what the game was, and obviously there were some inside jokes and onto it. And then I looked at it, and then all I see were people saying, "Oh, this is boring. Oh, this is wasted forty-five minutes of my life. This is." If you have said that, then why don't don't watch it then? Go to an Xbox. Like, uh, boo. Yeah, I mean, end, <laughs> end yeah, of the day. So right, yeah. That, uh, just saying, guys. Uh, the boo bit was Lee's, uh, Lee's um, own personal thing. I'm not, but bo- I'm not booing. Just saying, I'm not booing anything. I got, no, like, sure, sure is. I got, I got nothing against Xbox. Neither do I. But I just, but, but I would say that um, even though if all those people are booing and saying that the games are boring and all that, all of them are still going to buy the PS5. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no matter what happens, they're still going to buy the PS5. Because what's going to happen is that. More games are going to get released, and then they're still going to get it. So I don't understand yeah, why they're booing. Both. To be honest, I don't but, even know why they're booing that because some of the games that were released were actually really good. No, the games are good, and we'll come yeah, to the games in a really second. Um, I just want to go through the, the specs quickly because a lot of people were trying to compare. I saw this in the comments as well. Um, a lot of people were trying to compare the specs to Xbox and PS5, um, and there's not a huge amount of difference in it. To be honest, it's not. 
I mean, like, okay, it's also like at some point it's slightly better, but like overall, like this, it's not too crazy. Yeah, there's it's not, not like before. Yeah. I think Xbox has more um, CPU power, so they can run things faster, but they're not variable frequency. Um, the the PS5 ones are a variable frequency, and they run it at higher gigahertz, um, which which should mean. The f like there won't be any lag or anything when there's a lot going on in the screen, um, so that'd be quite interesting. But the rest is pretty much the same. You still got your your 4K Blu-ray drive, your um, USB-C connections, yeah. same same memory almost. Um, but they have got solid state hard drives as well, which is interesting. Um, so that should I guess, yeah. yeah. Just, I'm just wondering if if Sony keeping like, because also PS4, like you can switch the hard hard disk. I'm just wondering if they if they can on PlayStation Five. Uh, PlayStation Five is backwards compatible, yeah. So as far as they know, so all the top hundred. So the, I know there's a big thing about this a while ago. Um, so I need to make sure this is explained right. But you have the top 100 games are confirmed to work on the PS5. Um, mm -hmm. In your type PS4, but all the other games should work as well. There might be a few exceptions from like uh, smaller developers, but pretty much it's backwards compatible for every PS4 game. Does anyone know what the starting uh, memory uh, for the PS5 is? Uh, 825 gigabytes solid state drive. Okay, but, it, it's, but quite it, a lot. it's yeah, it's a lot for a solid state drive. Yeah. yeah. Um, but solid straight drives are, be are, be are better for like memory transfer and, and memory handling, so you'll find that they'll be able to run a lot faster in less loading times, etc. Okay. I'd agree what? with that because my laptop is only one two five SSD, but it's fast. But at the, well, obviously, but we're comparing at the moment, so I've got like a, I've got a, I can't oh, I can't see much, but I've, I've got a system loaded up so I can work from home. And it's coping right so far, but yeah, you're right. It's it's much better than my old laptop, I would say. Yeah, exactly. It's it's the way it operates. Yes, it needs help. Yeah, yeah, it will make a huge difference. Um, I don't want to go too technical. Um, it's got the same RAM as the same read access memory as the Xbox. So it should be quite okay. interesting. Well, this is really interesting then. Yeah, I think I think the key the key would be in the uh, playability of games. When you start seeing games in 4K and HD and the actual gameplay, I think that's when you'll see the differences. Um, but but spec wise, it's one of the it's it's probably I don't upset the PC master race because you can always upgrade a PC to make it better than a PS5. But it's comparable to top end PCs at the moment. Yeah. That will change, but. Again, because also is like what is released is having released, but by the time that is kept to one year, PC grew kind uh, of jump jump backward. Of course, back yeah. to the number one. Yeah, of course, easy. Yeah, um, and the good thing is they haven't blocked expandable storage for the PS5. Um, and you can play pretty much any other media from it. Is what they reckon. What do you mean, like, like video? Any... Sorry. Yeah, just explain me a bit more. Uh, so you, so basically, you can plug in a external hard drive. Um, okay. Sony are testing different hard drives to make sure they work properly. But on a PS4, you can do it, but only if you format. Um, you have to have certain hard drives and or well, format them to the correct. Like you have to format them to something called a FAT, mm -hmm. um, which is a certain way of formatting the, the hard drive. Um, th this one is the idea is you just plug and play and you'll have a hard drive where you can save like game files you can play videos from it you can yeah, that's pretty cool so that's quite cool oh. um, where Xbox they only allow it for Xbox One games only in videos and then for any Xbox Series X games you have to have something called a propriety card um, which is basically like an authorization to allow it Right. Uh, where in where in the PS5 we can I can take a hard drive from my game if it's digital, save it to a hard drive, bring it around to you, and we can play that game. Okay, 
that's good. That's good then. Because I, I, I think my tablet was on fat, fat photos as well. Yeah, yeah. I say fat. F A T. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, it, but it, like, it changes. Initials. Like, say you had, like, a, <laughs> say we had a really good game, and I was like, oh, I think you should try this. Rather than you buying the same game, I can bring it around for. Um, if it's digital, Just try it. Yeah, plus, it's saved on the hard Plus, you're safe, Yeah. This yeah, is yeah, why I'm buying digital. <laughs> That's true, actually. That's one reason for digital. That's a vote for digital. <laughs> I might change. Forget it. about a yeah. disc. I just need digital. So that's really cool. I think I like that idea. Um. So on to your favorite, the favorite bits. Let's talk about the games. So I don't know who wants to start, but like. Well, you're, as you're still talking, Lee, you might as well start. Okay. Who wants to start? Well, obviously they they announced um, obviously announced Grand Theft Auto um, Five is going to be free on launch for everyone, um, which is good. I don't know. I I don't know how the whether the online data gets transferred with it or not. Uh, that wasn't clear to me. Um, but you will get the game for free, um, and obviously you can play online. Um, that's free. You then get. I think this will be. Sanos's favorite, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, made by Insomniac. Oh, no, that's games. not that's not that's not that's not my favorite one. Oh, is it not? That's, oh, that's the one I want to play, but that's not my favorite one. Oh, it's interesting. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about Miles Morales Spider-Man? Game? I would love to play. I love the first one. I'm contemplating on downloading the... the first one. No, this is no, this is the carry on. No, this is, a, this this is, is a spin off. So this will be it, like it, no, no. This this isn't a spin off. This is a carry on from the oh, first one. Okay, I yeah, thought it's it's a carry on from, it's it. Talk, it talks about Miles Morales, um, older. That's literally it. Ah, okay, because yeah. they're gonna do a spin off too. Yeah, no, it's yeah, a carry no, on from it now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, pretty much, I'm interested and like, I love the fo- uh, the first one that I played. That, that, that was one of the first games I think I'd done myself by myself, wasn't it? On uh, the channel. On the channel. I think it was your first. Yeah, channel. Yeah, that was my was first. first it was my first single playthrough of, of the game. I was really excited for it, and I'm right now. I'm really excited yeah. for Mars Morales as well. And like just looking at all the graphics on it and how that cutscene, just from that cutscene, how his suit start peeling off when it was in that fight but yeah, like yeah, cool. it was just absolutely amazing and I'm going to the point where I'm thinking of actually downloading the DLCs which I should have done ages ago but <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think I might just go back and do it <laughs> go back and do it it was on sale for quite cheap it was but I, I missed it now I have to have a look uh, yeah, Sanos price. are you going to have you got the Spider-Man bug Lee, no, no, that was that was the silence really bad. The silence that was just, shameful. That was really bad. <laughs> I know. I aim to please. <laughs> Sorry, I said I really like the. Um... Oh, so you go first. No, you go first. Go on then. That's right. Do you remember Spider-Man into the into the Spider Verse coming out about two years ago? Yeah, mm-hmm. An- animated yeah. film uh, about Miles Morales, and I really did enjoy. What well, well, the art style was really good, but the story I quite liked as well. I feel it's interesting whether to take this story. I feel I take elements from that story and put it into this Miles Morales. So you don't really see too much in the trailer. You just sort of see the. It's like a teaser trailer where you sort of see Miles Morales in the suit and. And the reveal. Yeah. Yeah, and the reveal that it's actually Miles Morales under the suit and not yeah, Peter Parker. Not Peter Parker, which is quite. Peter cool. Parker. Yeah, but you can see from the suit, isn't it? Yeah, it's a black and red suit, which it's is black. no for Miles Morales. <laughs> But yeah, exactly. I know, I know, no, 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 I understand that. But then, like, when they were it's releasing it. the game, the first ever one in the preview, the the first scene on the trailer wasn't Spider Man in a Spider Man costume. It was Spider Man in a black the ending fight costume. Yeah. So obviously, different. you wouldn't have known if it was actually Peter Parker or not in that mm. first one. But obviously, we know because of Spider Man. But it could have been Miles. Yeah, exactly. But I'm just saying, like, we don't know who it was, but. But I really enjoyed that, and, and like, and looking at like their like the villains and, and like the bosses they've got, the graphics and lighting looks amazing. Like I can't, we were I wasn't even watching it in 4K HDR. I was watching it on my phone, and even then it looked amazing. So imagine that on a, a 4K HDR screen. Yeah, crazy. 
It'll look impressive. It'll look good. It'll look good. Um, moving on, so what about um, some of the games that we like best? There are some games, I'll read them all out, but um, there are some games that, yeah, we, we like the look of and stuff, but they're not really for us. Um, so Gran Turismo 7, um, yeah, graphics wise, I, looks amazing. You, you like that, didn't you? I got Gran Turismo, the, the one on the PS1, I do, I do like it. Um, I don't think it'll get Gran Turismo 7, but it does look good and it looks realistic. I reckon the handling would be like close to driving a real car, especially with like a wheel <laughs> adapter. Yeah, because that's actually that's what some people have been doing, and they like having like a really expensive to just drive wheel and stuff like. But like they're playing the games, like they even like set up the chair and stuff. So it's like when it's turning, like the chair is also moving. Right? Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, okay, like a 4D motion. That's pretty cool. Bas basically, yeah. like a simulator. <laughs> yeah. But I think, yeah, no, I, I get that. I get, and I get why people do that because it does make sense, and it, and I reckon that that would be that would be one of the standard games that a lot of people will get. It will be very, very popular. Like Grand Turismo is a huge franchise. Um, so I wouldn't yeah. play too many racing games as a group. Um, mm -hmm. that will do well. I can see that doing amazing. Um, but I mean, the only two two games that kind of peaked. Well, I say they were, were very interesting, but there's two stood out for me. Both cat related, unfortunately. Cat related. And I, I, with, I'm not a cat lover. That's the worst thing. But I'm more of a dog guy. <laughs> but anyway, the first was Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, only because Ratchet and Clank was my childhood. I, it sounds silly to say. Um, it. it it kind of bridges the gap between, you know, the Crash Bandicoot series, uh, you know, Jack and Dexter, they all sort of kind of at, at, at the same time. But I was quite fond of Ratchets, probably out, out of the three. Yeah. Um, graphics are great, very colourful. It kind of lends itself to the cartoony, you know, style. And it's good, yeah. I think we're missing platforming games in, in games nowadays. I think they're, they're seen as childish, well, childish, which they probably are. I get that. But they're an awful lot of fun. Well, at the same time, I don't think Ratchet Clank's really childish. It's more like it's a really good yeah, platform. Some of the, and some, some of the jokes some of the, are risky. <laughs> some of the jokes were actually quite funny, but then some of the scenes were quite sentimental. Slash, like some of them were actually like, "Wow, wow, this happened. Wow, one of those moments." Think for the parents, story. yeah, yeah. Not the but, kids. yeah, like I mean, it has the work. It, 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 in, in the game, there was lots of betrayal. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, that's very like, true. Jesus Christ, yeah. for a game like that, wow. <laughs> but, uh, but I do think the Ratchet and Clank looks good. It looks like they've gone back to, um, so not like the most recent version. So there were good games, the recent ones, but I think they've gone back to the original trilogy, kind of, in terms of, like, feel. Yeah. Is, is my impression. Platforming combat. Yeah, platforming combat-y kind of, kind of thing. But the graphics look amazing, and there's so, like the areas seem like very open, and there's so much on the screen, like going on the screen. And I'm uh, like we're watching the launch trailer. I'm surprised it didn't like lag. <laughs> mm. Cause Actually, it's... funny you say that. Like, uh, this kind of, again sounds really random, but neon for me is very like appealing as a color. Because I remember, um, was it Infamous Second Son? Uh, Second Son, Se First Light, Second Son. Yes. Second Son, yes, yes, Second yes, Son is yes, the newest one, second um, and then he had First yeah, Light was the second Son, which was. I like, think that's that right. But basically, a girl had neon power there, and it's it's very yeah, visually son. impressive. And I think that us, that's what I got from the trailer. You know, traveling through wormholes and stuff, it's very yeah, visually impressive. I would say. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be a showcase for the for the PS5 in like terms of like play this in the store, so you get to see like the colors and the game, like what what can happen on the screen at one time and. How smooth it is! Yeah, and the, cap and the capability. Yeah, what was your other cat game? Was it the Cat Simulator, aka Stray? The cat simulator. Oh, that's, I don't think it's a cat. I read differently. You, some might say Cat Simulator. I call it La Noir with cats. La <laughs> <laughs> Noir with cats. <laughs> <laughs> you play. You play it. You literally play a cat detective in a robot world. That's so cool. Honestly, I mean, it cat detective. As a concept, that's wild. 
but <laughs> the way that you just said that, song, it, it just sounds like what I've just been recently playing. What cat? It ain't no cat detective. No, it just it's, 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 it, it just sounds like bear with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bear bear detective. Another, another uh, weird game. Uh, animal detective. Based on Eleanor. Got platinum yeah, on that right. one, bro. <laughs> so stray, aka yeah, bear, aka bear, bear with me version five point <laughs> Yeah. In, in my defense, it seemed very whimsical, and I, uh, yeah, it appealed to me because it's so different. I me, guess. Me and Santos watched this, and our reaction was: the graphics look amazing. What is a robot? Why is a cat? <laughs> like <laughs> that was our reaction. <laughs> we were so confused. <laughs> we were so caring about the co- thing. We were just like, "There's no humans in this world." <laughs> <laughs> That was yeah. We we're so confused with that one. I still think that's a game that Wong would play, like for sure. Or the cat. Yeah, the cat simulator, aka Stray. Yeah, no. Stray's the. By the way, no. Stray's the Ele- real name. Ellie Ele- Noir with cat. It's not a cat simulator. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, I think out of what, I think out of the orders. Actually, just I'm looking. I'm literally flicking through on uh, Facebook now, and literally that that's just come up to say new PlayStation Five game straight allows you to play as a mystery mystery solving cat. <laughs> oh, it's a mystery solving cat. It's a mystery solving cat. Detective. <laughs> Great, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, okay, moving on. We've got a project um, A for you. Which um, that looks really cool. That that that, in my opinion, that one did look really cool. I thought it was Tomb Raider. I mean, graphically, that was almost impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people kept on saying Tech Tomb Raider as well, but but pro- it was just really cool. Project Athia was used to showcase the ray tracing on PS5 software. Um, ray tracing is basically where uh, current games you can have a basically the way lights work is they put like a a light outside a window, like a block of light. Um, and as it shines in, imagine like Minecraft. You put a light block, and that shines in through the window. That's kind of how it works. Um, now it like individually traces, it simulates like a sun, and you'll individually trace rays. Um, but, but what happens there is you get like dynamic shadows and dynamic lighting, and naturally, basically, so they'll, they'll put in this ray tracing, and the software will calculate where the light will hit and where the shadows will be. So as you move about, you can have like really like dynamic night day mm. systems and and dynamic lighting. Your shadows will move about accurately, and it makes it makes like things so much more realistic. So that's really cool. Actually, funny you. I, I'd agree with that because funny you, you, you said the same thing um, from the trailers. The one thing that struck me was the lighting was very good. In terms of, I think was it fog or cloud? I can't remember now. But um, yeah, there's this moment where the character looks over the, like a cliff, and it's very very detailed. Yeah, exactly. And it, that, that makes sense. It moves Ray. I just said, what, the, the, the word for it. Ray tracing. Yeah. It's getting some minds. Ray tracing. That's right, yeah. It's it, literally, they trace the rays. <laughs> you can tell. So it, it looks probably, I guess, trailer wise, the most realistic. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It'll be the, especially if something's motion captured as well. Imagine, like, being motion captured, but your lighting's real. Your, your movements are real. Your shadows are real. Everything about it is real. It'll be hard to tell, apart from the fact you're playing. It's like a game. simulated. I mean, S- yeah, I, simula- it, it it just looks, in a way, I just think that like with what they've used on it, like it's it's just it just makes games on PS5 in the future that have like using shadow elements and everything like that would be absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, for sure. I can yeah, see it. Like, if they use, especially if you're using game, if you're playing games like Final Fantasy and all of that, like moves like Gravia and all of that, like using oh, gravity yeah. and everything, and using shadow attacks and all of that, they're going to be really amazing. I never thought of that. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah. they'll be like really light and dark. Yeah. Because the thing, I'm just, dark. I'm just looking at some pictures about P- Project Aphia, and it looks like the girl can control shadow element. Oh, that's cool. So this is why I think it's going to be, real. but then I'm not I'm not surprised about that because at the end of the day, Project Ify is a Square Enix. Just saying, not sponsored by them. It is a spe- it is a oh, okay. really it's good game. Interesting. It look it looks really amazing. Like it, it feels like a 
Final Fantasy game already, to be honest. Like the new type Final Fantasy, not the old type, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. I think Square Enix is quite a good developer for that kind of thing. So I think that will work quite well. I'm looking forward to that though. Oh, that's one of the games I want, to be honest, on a launch. As well as Ratchet and Clank. As well as Spider Man. Yeah. I, I want all, I want most of the games to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> of course. But I think like th uh, this is a game all I also want, but I don't think it'll be it won't be my first buy, put it that way. It won't be my first buy. Yeah? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, Project Athia, yeah. Yeah, yeah Project Athia won't be my first buy. Um, okay, we've also got uh, so many games to go through, uh, but we've which also got you, which one you go for then? Uh, if it comes out on time, probably which probably won't. But if it does, then it'll be Resident Evil, obviously. Resident Evil. Oh yeah, Resident yeah. Evil: The Village or Village. He's taken with the night. It was, it was so a surprise, surprise, actually. It was surprise. That was a surprise. I was expecting it. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it. the PS Five. And until the Village came out, and that's when we were just like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> It looked amazing. No, though, like act actually, I re re watched the uh, the trailer one more time. At the very beginning, it's already got the umbrella logos there. Yeah, I said I it. I said it. I'm also it. watching it. When we're watching, it, I go, "Look, it's got the umbrella logo. It's definitely Resident Evil." And Wong's like, "Nah, it's definitely not Resident Evil. It's <laughs> some no, actually, weird word." I said that. I said it's the Resident Evil brand. And I was like, "I don't know." Oh yeah, you said yeah, you did say it first. Really and you changed your mind. <laughs> yeah, he saw, it's only because he saw werewolf. That's why he was like, he's never seen a werewolf. Oh, you never seen a werewolf in Resident Evil, to be honest. So, but you got to change your mind. Yeah, so, where did that werewolf come from? Well, I, I don't know. I just, I just got like massive Resident Evil Four vibes from it. In terms of like the castle. I mean, there's no werewolf. I mean, let's oh, be no, honest. But... The, the moment, <laughs> that moment when everyone saw that ending scene, everyone would. Just, I bet you, everyone on this seat, like who is a true Resident Evil fan, was just like, "What has <laughs> just happened? <laughs> what has yeah. just happened?" Like that. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. And then you see Chris shoot uh, was... somebody. Was like, Chris Redfield shoots someone, and he looks like he's yeah, like Chris the bad shoots guy. Someone so everyone's like, "What? What's going on? This is insane." <laughs> Chris. Chris is a bad guy. By the looks of it. Stuff that he's gone through. I'll be a bad guy. It could well be. It could well be. I, I feel perspective is everything. I feel there's yeah, I feel it's a perspective thing. I feel there's more going on to that than meets the eye. Like a lot more. But Because I think you still play as Ethan in that do. game, don't you? As he a, plays, the main character. You play as three protagonists. So you play as Ethan. Um and then there's two other protagonists oh, you play as, but they haven't been announced. Yeah, you play even for most of the game, I think. Then there's like another. I think it's like. <coughs> don't quote me on this. I think it was like. 50, 30, and. No, it was like 60, 30, and 10 or something. Okay, but the majority is, is even. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So it makes sense that you may well play as Chris, but from his perspective. It's possible. Just because he seems like the villain in one aspect, he could be the hero in his story. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know if they've. You know what? His goal might be very different. That's a good. Point. It, it, it's actually Mia again. Could be <laughs> Mia. Awesome. Mia again. Mia's but why would you play as Mia oh, again? Oh, oh. <laughs> Is this why has she been kidnapped again? Not Mia. That's why not, Mia. Got, she's... not Not Mia. The other girl. Um, Zoe. What? Oh, Zoe. I think it might be Zoe. Oh, Zoe. Oh, okay. So I had the wrong oh, names. I had the wrong okay. names. I, I was about to say, I was like, "Is Mia like getting ca kidnapped again?" No, I think. And so, Ethan's yeah. got to save her. <laughs> But so he, yeah, I was on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Silent Hill, or Resident Evil. Sorry, that's a tie. Resident Evil. Imagine they bring Silent Hill back for PS5. That would be like the scariest game. No, I'm sorry, I, I don't know. I said that before. I think now, I'd like. Now you mentioned that like, on when we were watching the uh, Resident Evil, loads of people in the comments say Silent Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. someone did. It's, it's, it's quite a few to say Silent Hill. Yeah, but it's no miss, so it's not Silent Hill. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did anyone see the um, Prometheus game, aka Returnal? It's not Prometheus, but like the monsters. Returnal. Game, so. Yeah. Mm. And the costumes. I I didn't say it at the time, but it is genuinely. It looks like um. What's the word? It looks. I don't like want to say a name, but Prometheus and Charlie's Ferran. You can say Charlie's Ferran. Charlie's Ferran. Yeah, you said okay, okay. Charlie's Ferran. I can say then. You can yeah, make yeah. the same four then. Returnal. Yep, yeah, I got that. Same yeah. vibes. It's got I got a very Prometheus vibe from it, and a lot of people are saying that as well. They're saying like, "Oh, it reminds me of Prometheus." Um, I don't think it's related, as far as I'm aware. So, it Returnal's Prometheus 
A.K. Prometheus game. <laughs> it's, other films are available. I'll move through and you can talk about the ones that you like. Um, Sackboy, A Big Adventure. Yes! Sackboy! Oh, yeah, Sackboy. That's, one of the games I'm, that's one of the games I'm going to get. A.K.A. Little Big Planet 4. Un- but I'm not sure they're allowed to four. call it. Unofficially, that, yeah. Uh, just saying, uh, just saying. Just I'm, not, the... I'm not being sarcastic. I'm being genuine. Like I am gonna get sack boy. Uh, yeah, but it's so fun. Like the games are awesome. What are you gonna say, Grant? It was, uh... yeah. Sorry. Oh, I was also gonna say uh, like, unofficially, but um, Little Big Planet Four because didn't they have to give it rights originally? I think so. I think they had to change the licensing rights. So I don't think Why they, do had they had to change it. Uh, studios and I don't think they. I don't think it's the same studio that made it. Don't quote me on it, mm. but I think there's some licensing rights to why they can't use the name. Yes, it's not Media but, Molecule, it's not Sumo Digital. That's it, yes, I, yeah. missed, I missed the trailer, so even yes. the, the characters look exactly the same. Yeah, exactly. It's like the... And you can dress it, up in yeah. whatever character you want. You have four people. You collect little orbs and swing on things. I, th- I think you're right, Gron. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's because... Um, yeah, different developers. They have to change the name. So it's in the same. Also, it's pretty universe much, vein. What, yeah, whatever you want to say, same but vein. Same, yes, yeah, same vein. So I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that as well. Plus, it, the graphics look brighter, sharper because all the like, I don't know. It's the graphics look amazing. Doesn't it? Um, and again, it's it's, it's another platformer game. I think they yeah, get lost true. in the. Scheme of things. To be honest, PS5 has come out with more platformer games than it has shooter games, I think. Which is oh, really yeah, interesting. Has... And more independent games as well, which is quite cool. I think it was halfway through the show, someone finally wrote, are we not getting any FPS games? And then I was like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, that's true. There, there hasn't been any FPS. That's, that's a good point. Mm. There isn't, I don't think. I don't think... Well, there is... Well, no, it's not, actually. There are some shooters. Isn't... No, they yeah, yeah, shoot, yeah, they're shooters, but there's not like first not person many. shooter those. Yeah, yeah. Not in the same sort of vein as like a uh, Call of Duty, etc. Yeah. Um so you've got Destruction All Stars, which is like basically Fortnite with cars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other battle royale games I, are available. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely not gonna get that in. Which nah, one? it's not for me. It's not for me, definitely. It's basically like which one again? Oh. Destruction All Stars, Fortnite with cars. Do you remember that yeah, one? I'm, I'm what's, not, what's that? Heavy Metal? Was, was that the game? Heavy Metal? Heavy metal. The Clown? Yeah, yeah, Heavy Metal. Yeah, and years and years ago. PS1 and PS1. PS1? Yeah. Heavy Metal? Was it called? It was something like Heavy Very similar sort of concept. I feel like... I want to say Heavy Metal, but I can't remember right, the time's name. Right. I don't know. When I was... Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal. Oh, Twisted Metal. metal. Twisted yeah, metal. yeah, that yeah. one I heard. Oh, yes. I haven't played it. But but then when it, we only talk about PS One, like I played the most weirdest games on the PS One, so <laughs> yeah, that's right. normal games are like <laughs> normal games on PS One don't exist for you. <laughs> I mean, Wong, Wong knows the games that I have. Like I have the most weirdest PS One game, like throwing rocks at each other, like playing stupid like multiplayer games and everything like that. that you can get on like in like Japan and Hong Kong in the arcades that you can get. Like I used to have those games on the PS Four. <laughs> It was really weird. Yeah, there's so many. <laughs> I've got another. It's not. Oh, I quite liked it. I thought it was weird, but I did quite like it. Um, basically, Kenya Bridge of Spirits. Ke- no, sorry, Kina Bridge of Spirits, aka Spirit of the Way. The game. <laughs> other anime films are available. <laughs> Do you remember that one? It's like it's like um, you're basically like an airbender, and then you you have like little. Black things that follow you around. Black, black little, monsters. Black monsters that, that follow you around. Yeah, yeah. I think I vaguely remember that one. I did fall asleep, remember? <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is the point where Grant fell asleep. But I really like the look of that game, so I think that's one of the games I'll get just for the the difference in it. If that makes sense. It looked quite cool. Um, it it was okay. I mean, like, yeah, that's that's a it's a great game. It looks like a great game, but it's not a game that I would buy though. No, no. I won't go through all the other games because there's quite so many of them. Um, I'll go through ones that we picked out is like one like good games, or not good games, or ones like we're interested in. Um, if you want the full list, you can obviously find it on most online pages at the moment. Um, but one I did like was 
Ghostwire Tokyo. Yeah, yeah that's going to be a really good one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's going to be good the one. The thing is, like, um, literally before the show, like a week ago, um, we were just watching YouTube uh, videos, just like those top horror games. And then we spot that even before it's on the sh- oh really PlayStation Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. Oh, okay, it's interesting because they we saw that it was like oh that's looked like really cool because they like, yeah. um, the one that we saw is like people disappear kind of just like for for something, but we didn't show the gameplay or anything. It's just like a pure marketing video. But it was like really cool at the beginning. We saw that it was like oh. I don't know if it already came out or, or nah, yeah, or exactly. Not. But it looks so creepy, and I don't know. Like it's like you're fighting like Slenderman monsters and headless people. The, mm, Lee, did, Lee did get scared. I did get scared. He got. I get scared of Resident Evil. So what, am what, I? You got scared watching a trailer. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I I got scared of Resident Evil. So like, you you see me play horror games. <laughs> okay, yes. I've seen you fall over playing uh, can I, horror Can game. I say, I fell over playing horror game because it was VR and it jumped up in front of my face. I thought covering my eyes would work, but clearly it doesn't because I'm in VR mode. <laughs> so <laughs> I fell backwards because <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> um, yeah, but that looks good though. That looks good. And it looks looks like a good action horror game. So I'm, I'm excited for that one. I kind of do want to play that game though. But I don't know if I'll okay, make it through well. the game. Um, Godfall, which is basically a hack and slash. That's a game that I'll be getting. Since they sent us skin all this game. Uh, Sa- Santa's got like 80% of the game. <laughs> yeah, you say, I'm going to get this one. No, I've just told you the ones that I've told... I've told you the ones that I'm going to get. <laughs> but like, yeah, yeah, like, no, we cool. walk, we're going through all those lists. It's, like every single it, it's the games that I'll be getting. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's so many. Like, you've got um, Demon Souls, which is actually, it turns out, it was kind of in, in the same sort of universe as Dark Souls. But originally it was on... Oh, it was... I think it was on PC. I don't know if it was on PS1, but it was like it was like a really, really early game. And apparently this is a remake of that game. Uh, a remastered or a re- remake slash reimagined of that game for PS5. Mm-hmm. Which is mm-hmm. pretty cool. Interesting. Imagine it'll be equally as tough. Hmm. Um, I think Snowfall has been, well, in, in generally, one of the most punishing games you can play. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think this will be the same sort of thing. Difficulty wise. Difficulty wise. Um, I'm not... I, I mean, the, the only other one I can think of was Horizon Forbidden. Uh, it's like Horizon Forbidden West. See, I mean, yeah. yeah, and, and I the Horizon played... Dawn sequel. Yeah, I played Horizon Zero Dawn. And it's a really good game, really great story, good gameplay. Um, I'm definitely gonna get this one. Um, and and to be honest, it, it looks like they've scaled the world up so much more. Um, I checked where it was set, Santos, and it was San Francisco. This is San Fran. Mm-hmm. Yeah, San Fran. Okay. Oh, so it's Earth then. So, sorry. Oh uh, yeah, it's Earth. Yeah, it's it's like it's like Earth in the future where. Um, Languages sort of don't exist. Machines anymore. take over. Yeah, machines sort of take over because it was. I don't want to spoil the first story, but basically, machines take over because of reasons. Um, and it looks like this one they've got like another apocalypse event that they have to deal with. They kind of touched on it in the first one, like they knew it was coming, um, and then they they basically reset the world, basically, and that's why it's like it is. So I'm excited to play it. Okay, that makes sense. And they've had new mm-hmm. gameplay mechanics in this one as well. It looks like you can swim as well in underwater, whole underwater areas, which in a game is like that's a lot of memory in a game. Um, so that'll be interesting to see <laughs> on PS5 because I think I reckon it's the one console that can handle it. So that'd be quite cool. Um, they're all the games I'm interested in. I will go through the others quickly. I'll just read them out. Um, so you've got Goodbye Volcano High, which is the weird anime one. I don't know what the game is. Um, Oddworld Soulstorm, which is Abe's Odyssey. It was a PS1 game. Um, they kind of made a sort of remastered series recently. Uh, Jet, I'm the Far Shore. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. On PS4. 
from PS1 to PS5. Yeah. Level up. Level up. <laughs> <laughs> A jet, the Fire Shore. Uh, Solar Ash. Hit, Hitman 3, which would be exciting for some people. Not for you, though, Lee. The only guy who's failed the tutorial. <laughs> oh, Hitman. Oh, yeah, it took me ages <laughs> to the tutorial. <laughs> I'm, I, what I've learned is stealth games are not for me. It took me ages. I'm, I'm better here now, but <laughs> still not great. Here. I've played the tutorial about five times, Grant. It was ridiculous. I learned that stealth games are not for me. No, I mean, like, okay, you failed five times. But before that, I have to give you tips to how to play. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can pass. Yep. Astro's Playroom, which is basically a platformer. Uh, Platformers. Yep. Little Devil Inside, which was that weird sort of creepy one. Well, I thought it was creepy. NBA 2K21. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, Bug Snacks, which is like, I think it's like a kid's game of like evil fruit. fruit. Um, so yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Deathloop. <laughs> So what's that? Uh, Deathloop, which is like the... Um, uh, it kind of reminds me of like a mix between like Dishonored uh, and maybe like... Do you remember X13 on PS2? Kind of reminds me of like a mix of them two. No, no one knows what I'm referencing. <laughs> it. I don't remember. No, sorry. Yeah, but it, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a weird... I think it is like. Oh, was that the Associated Spy one? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I do know that. It's kind of like that. Um, and then you've got Pragmata, which is basically what I call Death Stranding 2. <laughs> it's not. It reminded me of it. Which is like that you have a little kid that you have to take somewhere. Or a young kid. <laughs> you have to take. That, Lee, that's a lot of games. I mean, they've done that for last time as well. Every, yeah, to be honest, it's basically every game ever. <laughs> um, and I will, I will say, like, because they they release some more now as well. Um, they've now saying Destiny Two will be available for online play on PS Five, um, and you can cross play with generations, so you can cross play between PS Four and PS Five. Assassin's Creed Valhalla um, will also be available for PS Five. Um, and the Final Fantasy Five, Six, Seven remake. I had to count. I had to work out the Roman numerals. Sorry. Um, it's also coming to PS Five or be playable on PS Five at least. So that's pretty much all the games as well. So I'm I'm quite excited. I think there's a good five I'd get maybe. What about you guys? There's a few. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the same as well. I think I'll be getting like five maybe. I, think... I mean, Resident Evil, uh, God, Godfall, yep. Sackboy, yep. Uh, uh, Resident Evil again, um, Spider-Man, and um, I think that's it, actually. I only want, really want those okay. for, for the beginning. Resident for the Evil beginning. Four, yeah, I think because we're fast, <laughs> we're fast approaching, let's, go, let's quickly go for all the games you'd, you'd get. So if they're available for launch, I'm going to get Marvel Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Ratchet and Clank, Project um, Aphia. Well, these are the ones I want. I wouldn't get them all. Um, yeah, Sackboy, uh, Kina, Bridge of Spirits, kind of Ghostwire Tokyo if it's available, and yeah, obviously Horizon Forbidden West. If that's, I'd get that straight away. Oh, and Resident Evil as well. Oh, that's all the games eight, then, pretty much. That's eight <laughs> games. That's, that's all. I'm undecided on Stray. I'm undecided on Stray. You have to wait until like, at that point, yeah. and then you will decide. Okay, I'm good at that. <laughs> or not? Yeah, exactly. What about share games? What about Grant? What about what would the if you money's not an issue and all the games are available? Which ones out of this would you get? In that case, get, get, get every, every single one. Yeah, <laughs> if, money's, if money's not an issue, might as well buy all. Okay. Money's a part issue, so you can't buy all of them. <laughs> if I, yeah, if I was limited, I'll go Ratchets, Stray. I think Keener does appeal to me. I, I do like the cuteness of the monsters. 
Um, what's the other one? Was it Ghostwire? Ghostwire Tokyo. Yeah, Ghostwire. The... Yes, Ghostwire Tokyo. That's one. That's okay. my four. My top four. Interesting. One. Well, Resident Evil. Um, top five. It's a lie. See, I don't, I don't, I'm not like you guys. I don't have like a. I'm not that super exciting. So for me, on the list that only got one or maybe two, so I got the um, the Tokyo, yeah, the that one. Um, maybe is Resident Evil because I want I want to see the gameplay first. Yeah, I know that is int- no, but more, I I'll, I'll, more. I'll play it and then I'll let, I'll record it so that you can actually <laughs> see it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's for me, it so I can, I can make it through the game, but I get too scared to play it. <laughs> um, I am Resident Evil. <laughs> I fail at Resident Evil. <laughs> Other than that, um, I don't think I have any anything that is like really stand out to my... Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, yeah, it's fair enough. Yeah, you want to wait for game because, play. No, because, like, those games, it's more your, like, you free that kind of game style, right? Mine is more open world and, you know, yeah. like, like yeah. Um, what about, this, you know, Horizon? Tactic, that kind of person. Um, That's very open world. Yeah, it's the world. I mean, I was playing for the first one. The can let me. Is, is this. But. I don't know. I'm not too crazy about that. Okay. I think which is su- which is surprising for me because like you can customize your things and then like, you can do quite a lot of things which is like fit into what I normally yeah. play. But I thought I would really work for you. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. No. For some reason, it's not, it's not me. Regardless, I'm, I'm changing. E- yeah. Regardless, I'm excited for the PS5. And oh yeah. Of course, absolutely. Uh, for, but for me, the number one I don't care is still Cyberpunk. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh yeah. But Cyberpunk. you can get a PS Five and play Cyberpunk on it. Yeah. <laughs> so. I can get. I, True. I, I, I think I'm still going to get. I don't know about you guys. I'm I'm, I'm going to get the PS Four since that like, is good. Yeah. Play yeah. on PC. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But, but then you can play it, on the PS Five. Yeah, PS5. but the, but then Cyberpunk is going to come out before PS Five comes out. Depends. Mm, it depends. It's I think it will. So I it, think it will. It's unannounced. It's unannounced yet. The PS5. Uh, they say holiday, Christmas twenty twenty. Yeah. yeah, but Halloween. Bear in mind, all the situation has come out. I know they're mass manufacturing now. They so say are mass manufacturing PS5s. Um, really, put the it's order working. Yeah, they put the order in to do it. I don't know if their factory's up. So I, I, I think if we're lucky, we'll okay. get it in. November, it's my feeling, my gut feeling. I would say October. I say yeah. I'd say Halloween time. Hmm. December. It's normally Thanksgiving over America, so that's um. Yeah. Yeah, a bit, a bit better on so early, early November, late October. Right, so, I'd say. I hope we get the pre-order I'm... prices and stuff soon. Sorry, one. How much? How much would you think that it would be? I. S- what do you guys think? Six fifty. <laughs> I said I think six hundred plus. I do think. I think six hundred. I think yeah, six fifty. Five nine nine. I'm six fifty like Santos. I, I think it'd be a bit more. I think it's six fifty. Inc- this includes like the console and everything, and like the games and everything. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not including games. I just said for that was just for console outright. Just yeah. Oh, I do think Xbox are waiting for PS4 to announce their pricing model, so they can give theirs. But I also think Sony are doing the same for Xbox. So I think they're holding out. stuck in a stalemate. <laughs> it will That's never it. come out. <laughs> it will never come out until they release the pre-order date and go, yeah, it's available pre-order now. Here's the price. <laughs> yeah. Once they set the benchmark, that'll be it. But I, I do think it'll be 600 plus. I think in my way, opinion. Yeah, I think it'll be close to 600. Around pounds, that is. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, pounds. We're talking pounds, by the way, guys, for any of our GPUs in different countries. Great British pounds. No, yeah, but I'm I'm excited regardless, and I think, uh, I think we'll, of course we'll once we get it, we'll we'll be streaming, definitely be streaming some of these games. Mm. Yeah, definitely. But before that, make sure you uh, 
look Check. out for Lee's um, Last of Us Part 2. Yep, so that'll be out in six days. 19th. I think I'll start um, off with a live stream as well. So um, I, I don't know the length, maybe in maybe an hour and a half, sort of live stream, maybe. Um, depending on how the story goes <laughs> and and how and how engrossed I am in it. <laughs> or how the by the time Lee plays that, I would have finished the game. Probably, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably me as well. <laughs> But yeah, no. But, but do check out that. Check out our other videos. Grant's got a, a good Resident Evil um, free series out, and that's still ongoing. Um, check out some of our previous videos. Leave a like, subscribe if you are subscribed. Click the bell button to get notified of our upcoming videos. And keep updated on our Facebook and Twitter pages when we're going on the game world. Um, and we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. -bye.